water polo. So, sophomore year of high school, I decided that trying out for the water polo team was going to be a good idea. You know, except for the fact that I've never touched a water polo ball before. I don't know how to play water polo. I'm not the best swimmer. Oh, and I don't know how to tread water. But that's not important. Right? I knew I needed to practice before tryouts, so every day I could, I went to my local swimming pool with my basketball and swam laps. And I also attempted to learn how to hold the ball as I swam, because that is probably going to be important in water polo. Now this is what I felt like I looked like, but in reality I looked like a total dork sinking to the bottom of the pool holding a basketball. Never mind that. The day finally arrived, day one out of two days of water polo trouts. That morning, I grabbed a second backpack and tossed in my swim cap, swimsuit, goggles, water bottle, and a bunch of other things that I totally forgot about into my bag and I zipped it right up. The whole day at school was pretty normal until it was time to make my way to the pool. I was walking there telling myself that it'll be fine. I mean... What's the worst that can happen? Right? I finally made it to the swim locker rooms, which were conveniently next to the pool. And when I walked in, holy cow! It looked like a semi regular locker room, but it smelled, oh my god! It smelled like a mix of chlorine, moistiness, heat, and feet. Like what? I will admit. I was used to the nicer lockers that I used, as well as other land athletes that were right next to the regular PE class locker rooms. And these PE class locker rooms were just average lockers. And this is exactly what the swim lockers look like. But when I tell you the smell, oh my god, you're just going to have to trust me on that one, okay? Anyways, after we were all finished changing, everyone went to the pool deck and waited for instructions from their coach and the assistant coach. And while everyone else was socializing, getting to know each other, or talking to old friends, I was standing like a stick next to the edge of the pool by myself. The head coach, who was super nice by the way, then explained what we were going to be doing at Charge that day. She said we were going to swim laps and that was going to be it for the very first day of tracks. I honestly don't remember exactly what we had to do since I had lost most of my memory of this day after I nearly killed myself. But anyways, we were told to swim from one end of the pool to the other and that would be one lap. And we were swimming from the left to the right of the pool if that makes sense, not the full length of the pool just to be clear. So we had to swim 10 laps in 10 minutes for 50 freaking laps. And then, and then, we had to do it all over again. So, the first few laps I was doing pretty gosh darn well. And then it started to slow down. And then I was fighting to stay above the water. But I was on my last lap by then, and the wall seemed so close, yet so far away. So very, 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 very far away. I glanced over and saw most of the kids were either dolphins and gliding through the water without even needing to actually start swimming until they were almost to the wall already, or they were in the shallow end and happily swalking through the laps. Which if you didn't know, swalking is the art of swimming while walking. Swalking. After my first round of 50 laps were completed, the assistant coach walked up to me and said, Hey there. What's your name? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. That's all. You can go home now. Thank you. Well, you know what? <laughs> Joke's on you, cuz cause, cause I was practically drowning, so I don't even care that you just told me to go home. In fact, in fact, thank 
you. Thank you for saving me. So jokes on you. Ha! Huh. Do you want me to go home? Later that night, I was lying in bed thinking about trials tomorrow. I didn't want to go because they were doing scrimmages, and as much fun as scrimmages are, I don't know anything about water polo. The next day, I walked back to the pool after school, went into the smelly, wet locker room, and turned right back around and walked straight out of the locker room, out of the pool gates, and called my mom. Yes, I called my mom. What do you want? Fight me. Told her to try to cancel that day and that I was ready to go home. Okay! Well, that's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Also, I should probably mention that lying is not good and it's not something you should do. So, yeah, there's that. And also, there was this girl who used to be my semi-friend who totally laughed at me the first day of trials when she saw that I was trying out, and that, that was just great. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!